First this morning, we're working the latest on yesterday's Capitol Hill scare. We're learning a lot more about the driver killed by police after she allegedly tried ramming through a barricade at the White House and leading officers on a chase to the U.S. Capitol. You're looking at some new video into our newsroom. It shows some of the chaos during yesterday's incident where a patrol car responding to the scene crashes into a barrier. In the meantime, the FBI's investigation has brought them to Stamford, Connecticut overnight, seen here on the Pinpoint News Tracker. Eyewitness News reporter Shante Lands is in studio with new information about the woman police say was behind the wheel. Good morning, Danielle and Patrick. We've learned that the driver killed in Washington, D.C. was a woman named Miriam Carey. The 34-year-old was a resident of Stamford, Connecticut, and her mother told sources at ABC News that Carey suffered from postpartum depression. Police shot and killed the woman outside of the U.S. Capitol yesterday afternoon. The chase started at the White House. That's where officials say Carey struck a barricade with her black Infinity sedan. She then sped down Pennsylvania Avenue towards the Capitol. Authorities thought they had boxed her in, but say Carrie backed up and tried to speed off again. Police opened fire, killing her. Now, a one year old was in the car at the time. She avoided serious injury. This morning, authorities are searching for a motive. Police were there so that they could go through that and try and find out what was this. Could they learn from her computer, from her notes, or from anything else? Um, something that could give them a window as to a motive behind her behavior. Now, Miriam Carey's mother says her daughter had no history of violence and does not know why she was in D.C. And coming up ahead at 630, we'll hear from more from the suspect Connecticut's neighbors. Shante Lands, Eyewitness News.